Welcome to the channel and part two of Libby's doghouse. If she gets out of it, she's being stubborn. She won't come out. If I'm going to walk up there to anywhere near it, she's after me. So what we're going to do in the meantime, this is the main water line going into the house. Yeah, that's how they did it. So I've got all these, I had rags and crap stuffed in there. So I'm going to build a uh, insulated enclosure around this. And eventually, I'm going to have to dig all this up and probably run pecs and not do that. So I'm going to just build a little box around this to keep this warm and insulated, or double insulated. All right, let's go. All right, I'm building the box that going going around the water supply. Just out of scrap. I got laying around. It's going to be 14 inches high. Uh, what do I got? 12 inches wide, 24 inches long. And Miss Stubborn is out of her doghouse now, so when I get done with this, it doesn't matter what order I do it, I got to do all these today. It's going to be a busy, busy day for me. And again, I went to town, forgot the smaller screws. I give up on me. I do. I, I just give up on myself, man. I'm never going to remember nothing. I did remember to take my pills this morning. That's always good. Yeah. Alright. Nothing fancy. Just a thing. Put a couple screws in there. And the, the parade of stray dogs is a coming around. We must bark at them, huh, Lib? Let's cut another piece of T111. Why they name it? Why they name it T111? Why don't they just name it Outboard or something like that? I don't know, man. All right, let me get this squared up. Come back. All right, Libby's doing her shivering act. So I'm going to get her some hay to spread out. $12.50 for one bale of hay now. What are you thinking, am I? Hmm? I don't like those apples. I'm gonna get you some hay. And then the other bale of hay is going in front of your door. So let me let me get these people over here. They're always they're always in the wrong spot. Never fails. You want some of this hay, don't you? You think I'm gonna put it in that doghouse? You're nuts. Because I know what'll happen. I'll never get you out. You're not gonna get a ton. We'll make you a nest. I'll just make you a nest. Uh, you poop there. Where do you want it? Good hay, man. There you go. That's what she wanted. That is some good hay. It better be for twelve fifty. That's that good stuff, man. All right, now maybe I can get busy. All right, just a simple box. I'm gonna insulate it here, 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 here. Pack it full of scrap insulation. We're good, man. Ain't got to win no beauty pageant awards or nothing. It's just got to be useful. All right. Almost done with this, and we're gonna go move on to her doghouse, and then the well house, and then Miss Tilly's, maybe if she stays house. I don't know. All right, guys, here's what I got. Double insulated, two sheets of that. There's two inches of insulation on all the ends and the sides. And I'm just gonna set it up like that. I need to run a piece across there yeah let me see if i can get a tighter fit than that there i'll drive a couple screws in run something across that 
but I think for the most part it's better than it was. All I had was those bricks and some rags. When I redo it later, I'll do it better. But this will be good. Hey, if it's good here for a couple of years, it'll be good. All right, and there's an eave over this. This usually don't get wet, but I could put a piece of metal roofing on it. All right, that's done. Let's move on to doghouse. All right, now I just got to screw two by fours, 48 by 48 all the way around. I'm putting them flat because I don't want them real high. I want them to sit flat on the doghouse. This thing's pretty bowed, so I'm just going to try to square them up. And this thing's actually 52 long. I'm doing a little overhang on it. Let me just get the bow out of this thing. I knew it. Didn't get the new screws. So right, we'll get a grinder and cut them off. Darn me, I'll put them in at an angle. Let me put the, some in and then I'll put them in at an angle and then they won't do that. This is the back. Something you can do. If you got long, too long of screws, put them in at an angle if you can. Not too much of an angle. I don't do that. The things I forget. Cause my long hair don't cover up my redneck I fought every fight I ever won David Allen Coe, stuck in my head, it was on YouTube You know, they play a song, they say, yeah, you can't get it out of your head <laughs> right. Now, you have to flip it Flip it good. Well, maybe we can do something like that. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's going to work. Somewhat square. All right, I got the lid done. This is the front. This is where the heat lamp's gonna be. I just traced around it. If it goes a little bigger, that's fine. It's just a spot that I cut open. Then I'm gonna take some well to wire fence and put right here before I insulate it. Well, the insulation's gonna have to have a hole as well. All of it will. Uh, yeah, that's something I, I'm probably not gonna get it too close. Uh, I may just leave the insulation, just only do it to a certain point, because this may melt it. I don't know, let me see if I can get this through there a little bit. If I can get this to hang through a couple inches, we ought to be good. Now, right, let me cut that open. Get a starter hole going here. 
Doesn't have to be perfect. probably do is hang it just a little above this it just needs a hole where the heat can get through now let me go find a piece of fence and find some wire cutters and all that good stuff where's my heat lamp okay so basically something like that but I need to run a piece of fence across this. So if she ever stood up on her hind legs, try to mess with it, she can't get to it. I'll make sure once I get it all on there, it's good. Something like that, let's get it going, man. I ain't got time sitting here to gab. Gab. All right, there's that. Just took some welded wire, stapled it. Keep her from jumping up in there and getting it. She's not gonna bother it. She's an older dog, but you never know with her. But uh, it's gonna be pretty high. All right, let's go. Uh, let's cut some insulation for that and that. Uh, I'm gonna take that aluminum stuff I got and insulate that. That won't burn. All right. All right, that's what I come up with. I took the stuff that I insulated the dog apartment with. It's that aluminum, uh, both sides. So that will keep it from getting, you know, that styrofoam would melt. So that ain't going to melt. And then I'll styrofoam the rest of it with the one inch insula insulation. And then I'll hang the light. It's, it'll generally probably kind of hang down a little bit in here. And it'll warm her little whole little area up. So that's what we got. Now she can't get to it and knock it off all right let's go put it on the house Couldn't ask for better weather the last couple days. Not hot, not warm, but good working weather. Well, I can't see. Dingo berries. Dingo berries. 40 mile an hour winds, they'll all be gone tomorrow. They'll go wherever dingleberries go. I don't know where they go. All right, we're going to put reflective side down. Stay there, my friend. Tia Libby, you're gonna have the doghouse dog house 
the dog is the warmest dog house around these parts. All right, now I'm gonna cut a piece going across here. Let's go 24, 19 and a half, 24. Uh, look what I found, a magic marker. I love this board. This stuff's good for. I got. I'm gonna, I got a lot of scrap. That's good to stuff in corners here and there, wherever you might need it. Got 600 pounds of wood chips in here. Waka, 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 waka. There we go. What the hell's it catching on? Them screws I forgot to grind off. It's alright. Fence. Oh, this is gonna be air tight. places and that's all it needs man it ain't got to be perfect let me show y'all what I've got here I'm just gonna put a screw there screw there break down a little tight I'm gonna attach the cord to the heat lamp somewhere in here and that way it'll sit right here sit on this and then that should warm this whole thing. Uh, I know it will. And then all I need to address after I put this on is 
put a little skirting there i've got some two by fours just a two by four nailed in there i'll do that where that gap rose up the front's good and that side there all right let me get put a couple screws in and we'll put the heat lamp in place and she's ready to go she was in here this morning she wouldn't come out yeah i was gonna and I'm, I'm gonna put a bale of hay here that's all i'm gonna do for now she'll be fine the wind's coming from the west right now thing I kept in mind the whole time is I make sure that there's no screws that are going to be sticking out inside there that would poke her. There's a little bit of uh, that's all right. You know anything's better than what she had which was good. I mean, she had a really good insulated doghouse so it wasn't like probably didn't even have to do this but it did it fits if it doesn't i'll run it from the screen patio that's on its own breaker too it ain't gonna run much juice all right there we go that's what i got in mind now i'm gonna get something and secure this a little better where it doesn't you know if the wind comes through here i ain't going nowhere though but just in case can't be wood i'm gonna leave this on a while see how warm it gets we don't want that cord like that, I'm sure. Uh, and I'll get everything secure. But as you can see, let me shine. I can't even get down there. You know, I didn't want that directly over this. This way, you know, it's going to warm everything in here. I'm going to stuff some more hay in there for her. Should stay pretty warm. I already feel, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be toasty in there. I can feel it on my hand. And that cures her scared in the dark problem. Now the next thing I need to do is come around here. I've got her heated uh, dog bucket. Uh, where'd I put that? Out there somewhere. That's why I got this three-way on there. I want to run her, her heated water right there. So I'm going to just leave this here for now. I don't think that could blow anywhere. I really don't. The only thing I don't like, well, yeah, that ain't going nowhere, is it's actually sitting on the bulb, but that's not going to hurt nothing. There. It, it's tight enough in this hole. It can't do nothing. It ain't going nowhere. I'll secure it. There. That should work for her, man. I don't know what else to do. It is warm, I can tell you that. Ooh, it's warm in there. Oh, yeah. You're going to be the warmest dog in town in sub-below temperatures, Lib. Yeah. You chewed up my pencil. You chewed up my pencil. No wonder I couldn't find it. You shouldn't be chewing on lead. You, you're trouble. You're all kinds of trouble. Did you see your dog house? You got light. You got heat. You're going to have comfy hay in there. You're going to be all set. All right, so the 100 foot cord was plenty. Just went around through here, went up through her fence. I got to remember that drill. Or she will chew it up like she's chewing up that heat lamp box. And uh, 
this doesn't even I had this on a while this doesn't even get hot so that's cool and I got it there and I've got her heated water bucket we're gonna try that with her she likes to destroy buckets as you can see by the look of this one I hope she don't destroy that one they're not cheap so this is all I can do for her if this ain't enough nothing is she'll stay warm you know she'll have water that ain't frozen and I'll be home so and I monitor her on that I can see her on that camera that's up on the uh, porch up there you can see it looks right over here so she's gonna be in good shape and like I said <coughs> I'll be home if anything needs done. All right, guys, I guess that's going to be it for that one. I already did the well house. <coughs> it didn't need much. <coughs> Why is it every time I do this, I got a cough? Uh, I put a, I did add a few pieces of foam, but it, all the walls already have it. And uh, it's pretty warm in there. I already got the light on. <coughs> man. All right, guys. So I'm set. I'm ready for the cold, man. I don't think there's when we got that box done on the uh, water inlet. So I'm going to stick a bale of hay here and we're good. Happy trails. All right. Chickens are taken care of. All they needed was a piece to cover that hole across the top where they roost. Uh, chickens can take cold. They just, they don't, they need to be out of the wind. And that'll keep the wind off of them from any direction. So now they got four sides uh, around them. They'll be fine. They've lived through a whole lot colder temperatures than what we're going to get. Probably see them out here messing around tomorrow. In the end, I went and filled up all the propane. We're going to have to use this wall furnace this uh, next few days. Uh, I only run it for a little bit at a time because it'll roast you out, man. It's It puts out the heat. So I got to get all that crap off the top of it. It takes forever to get propane through the line. Take you out here and show you. Oh, I am just wore out. So for now, I got it there. I usually have it down there. I got a little platform, but I got the dog houses there now. So we'll just set it on this old air conditioner. I knew, I knew that I saved that for a reason. And this just plugs in there. And I went and got two of them filled. That's 40 pounds. And I got two of them. So that should be plenty. Um, actually, that was already full but i got them all topped off well, there's the other one so we got plenty of propane i also got the one inside for the mr buddy propane heater which works great so we're set on heat and i got that electric fireplace which this thing clippy there what do you he like sleeping on there he's just a crazy guy but he knows where it's warm but that thing usually uh that's all I use, man, to heat this place. But when it gets to zero, yeah, that dude's gonna have to come out of retirement. I did not run that last year. And I think I only ran it once or twice the year before. But it's it's good to have, man, when you get these kind of drops in temperature because it don't take long to warm this place up. That thing will roast you out. All right, Clippy, we'll keep you warm, buddy. Say hi to the people. He doesn't talk much, man.